Okay, how many folks do YouTube videos, right? Want to get ranked on YouTube and grow your channel and all that good stuff? Here's a tool that I just got a hold of. It's called Lingo Blaster, and it's from my uh, buddies Vlad and Stoika. They're some pretty darn good developers of software applications, and this one's called Lingo Blaster. Essentially, what it does is it connects to your YouTube channel, so you can add your YouTube accounts, and then it will translate your video titles, descriptions, into like up to a hundred different languages. And you can also do captioning. So your closed captions can be set to other languages as well. The thing that's kind of interesting about this is that a lot of the world does not speak English. <laughs> Right? And most other countries in the world, they will do their searching on YouTube with YouTube set to their native language. Okay, well, I kind of get that. And then the other thing is that 35% of videos watched in general aren't watched with sound on. So, of course, captions and subtitles kind of come into play. And YouTube does this automatically for you, but only in the native language the video was created in. So here's kind of the scoop. I went in and a lot of the countries that find my videos, a decent percentage of them, <laughs> turn out to be other countries. So the goal here is to provide a version of my video that, for example, Indonesian. You know, a lot of my Indonesian friends watch my PowerPoint videos. So when they open up their browser and they might do a search for whatever tags or keywords and stuff I'm optimizing for into the browser in their language, I now have the ability for YouTube to find those native terms, you know, in that language for my video. So I like that. The tool is pretty sweet. <laughs> and to create these videos is literally, you connect your YouTube channel, and there's a pro version where you can add more than one channel. You just click to add the YouTube accounts, and it pops them in here, and then I go to translate videos. So it pulls in all the videos, and you just choose a video. Uh, let's see, which ones haven't I translated yet? Let's just pick one. So I'll click on this. It selected the video. Let's go to the next step. And I'm going from English. And judging by my statistics, I'm going to pick just the kind of target ones here. And I'll probably almost always go for Spanish. So we'll click that. German, French. There was a lot of Hindu going on. And I can type here, let's do Indonesian. And that'll kind of get us started. Okay, so I picked my languages. <laughs> it's the next step. And then what you can also do is exclude terms. So I don't want to have it try to translate things like a web address. So I'm going to highlight this and exclude it. Okay. And I'll exclude this. So in other words, anything I don't want it to try to translate. So maybe, you know, sometimes product names. They'll just show up in regular English, and maybe my name, anything I don't want to have to try to translate. Uh, let's do that. Let's save, and let's go to next. And it's basically going to do it. We'll give that just a second. OK, so for each of the languages, it has basically gone through and done a translation. Uh, let's see how well it did. <laughs> let's highlight this. I'm going to copy it. Let's go over to Google Translate and pop it in. Right? So it does just an awesome job. And you can also test it by opening up YouTube in a browser and then changing the language, right? And kind of seeing how it how well it does there. Uh, at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and publish this. And basically, it is done. 
So now, whenever someone browses in their native language and does a search for any of these keywords, right, like Super Video Suite Pro is a keyword that I'm targeting, and I'd probably do a better job of sprinkling in other keywords like PowerPoint and stuff like that. Probably should do that. But essentially, when they type in those kinds of things, and it shows up in optimized title tags and descriptions, then I'm going to get a boost, right? Because it's going to be exact matches to their search terms in all those different languages. And that's pretty much as easy as it was. There's also a thing called Captionize. So I mentioned it can also create captions, and it does the same kind of translation thing for closed captioning. So for folks that don't speak English and they turn closed captions on, their YouTube is set to their native language. It's going to do the translation, you know, into their language, which is pretty sweet. And I won't get too much into how that works here, but editing your captions is a, is a great tool because YouTube loves captions uh, and it uses captions to index their content put a link to this in the chat box for you because right now it's on a launch special at a stupid stupid price so I just started using it I don't really have any traffic stats yet but everything seemed to work just fine and it's all kinda good like I say I use thumbnail blaster if you guys haven't checked out thumbnail blaster I'll put a link to that in the chat box too that was like one of my top tools of 2019 you can't beat that thing with a stick.